A former Bush administration official says that many detainees locked up in Guantanamo Bay are innocent men swept up by U.S. forces who are unable to distinguish enemies from noncombatants. Lawrence B. Wilkerson, a Republican who is chief of staff to then Secretary of State Colin Powell, told the Associated Press, quote, there are still innocent people there. Some have been there six or seven years. Wilkerson learned from briefings and by communicating with military commanders that the U.S. soon realized many Guantanamo detainees were innocent, but nevertheless held them in hopes they could provide information for a mosaic of intelligence. Wilkerson wrote, quote, It did not matter if a detainee were innocent. Indeed, because he lived in Afghanistan and was captured on or near the battle area, he must know something of importance. He says intelligence analysts hope to gather, quote, sufficient information about a village, a region, or a group of individuals that dots could be connected and terrorists or their plots could be identified. Wilkerson, a retired Army colonel, says vetting on the battlefield during the early stages of U.S. military operations in Afghanistan was incompetent with no meaningful attempt to determine who we were transporting to Cuba for detention and interrogation. The military has insisted that those held at Guantanamo were enemy combatants and posed a threat to the United States.